This right here is my new favorite gadget on my desk. It is a mini dock from Vobot. And it does a couple of really awesome things. And when you first look at this, you're probably like, what is it? Is it a clock? Is it like a light? What is it? So it is a mini dock. On the back, there is a USB-C input. So you connect that to a power supply. And then once this dock is connected to your device, you can use these other ports. Like you got an HDMI port, so you can connect it to a monitor or a TV or a projector. You got an ethernet port, which is great for smaller laptops or tablets that they don't have an ethernet input. So when you connect this dock to the tablet or any device, you got an ethernet jack. And you got a USB 2.0 port, which is always handy. And then on the left-hand side, you got two more USB-C ports. So you got plenty of USB-C ports with this dock. And see the back is translucent, so it has that really cool effect. So you can clearly see the RGB lighting. And this is one of the reasons why it's one of my favorite new gadgets, because you just put it on your desk and it gives you like some ambient lighting. It's very cool. And of course you got a clock. So this mini dock actually has apps. Now these are not Android apps. They're more like widgets that are specific to this device. And the really cool thing is that if you are a developer, you can make your own little apps for this device. So to navigate, you got this little wheel on the side. You just move it up and down and it's very satisfying. You got that little bit of a click to it. It's not a touch screen, but that's fine. I like using the wheel. So you got some handy apps like a calendar. You just click on it and go back. You can just click on it and that will open up. And underneath the wheel is another button and that will go back. So to open up an app, you just click on the wheel and there you go. There's a calendar app. And to go back, there's another button on the right hand side. You just click on that. And now you're back to the menu. You can go ahead and click on weather. Let's go ahead and see what the weather is right now. There you go. It is 50 degrees right now. That's cool. As you can see right here, you got all the details that you need right here. And that's just cool to have it right there on your desk. You don't got to open up any app on your phone. You got a quick look at the weather and your time right there. So let's go back. Stocks, I don't care about. Crypto, I definitely don't care about. Um, a to-do list, you can go ahead and click on that. I think I already set this up. So it's not as intuitive as I would like. There's no app. There's no like quick settings to you know get everything going. But again, this, but this device is still in development. Let's go ahead and go back. Over here, you can monitor your PC so you can tell things like the fan speed, the C so you can tell things like the CPU speed, the temperature. Let's go ahead and see some settings. The internet settings, application settings. Display and sound, you can change the brightness. And over here, and over here you can change the, over here you can change the RGB lighting. So I have it set to a gradient effect. I can set it to flowing water, to breathing. Uh, let's go ahead and put flowing water. Oh, that's cool also. Oh, that's a little bit distracting, but it depends on you. I, I feel like I wouldn't be able to focus if I see that, um, those lights going off. So let's go ahead and change it to uh, breathing. I think that's what I had before. No, I didn't. Okay, so I had it to gradient. I really like the gradient mode because it's subtle. It's not distracting or anything like that. And of course, it's an alarm also, so it has a built-in buzzard. I haven't used that yet, but I assume that it works. Miscellaneous. Um, experimental features. Development mode. Underneath settings, you got now playing. So if you pair this with your phone, either Android or iOS, you can see what song you're playing. Screen mirroring. So screen mirroring is an experimental feature. It allows you to show a part of your screen on this tiny little screen. Now, it's hard to tell what you're going to use it for. You got to use VNC. You got to set up the IP address. But again, it could be done. There's also a built-in game emulator. So you can play NES games on this device. Now, it's not the best experience, but you can do it if you want to. I don't know, so I'm going to go ahead and pair it by pressing the stop button. And it should pair automatically. So I got three games loaded up. I got Dr. Mario, DuckTales, and Super Mario Brothers. Let's go ahead and click on Mario Brothers. Let's go ahead and click on DuckTales. And there you go. Now you can see the game is loaded up. So there is no sound and the screen is very, very small. And as you can see, there is some lag, but it's still pretty cool that you can at least play the game. So there is no sound. So there is no sound. So there is no sound and the screen is very, very small. So it's not the most So there is no sound. 
so there is no sound and the speaker is very very small because um yeah as you can see i'm actually trying and i'm not doing very well um, the lag the controller and the small screen is not a great gaming experience but, but that's okay because this is not a gaming device anyway. keep in mind again that this is experimental this feature will get better within time and the whole process between uploading files to the device will get faster i assume as well uploading rom files to the device is a little bit tedious but it's not that bad you gotta open up this web portal you gotta open up this web portal and then upload it to there you gotta go into this web you gotta go into your phone or your pc and then open up this website and then upload it and then send it to the device it's not that bad but it could be way easier and i know it's going to be easier within time okay so that about does it for this video so i'm definitely going to have more videos on this device especially when new features are available but for now if you have any questions feel free to leave it in the comments below